This is Bob Chambers, the Multimedia Guy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a button for your website, for any web page or anything like that. We're going to go to the Button Factory, and this is an online service that is free. Here you can see the web page. Let's just take a look. You can see right here, this is the picture of what your button will look like. You can change the text to let's just say download my ebook now we can change the font to any of these that you see here I'm just gonna leave it at the Calibri and as you can see over here, it, this works in real time, so it just changed this download my ebook. It put that title on there. You can see that I've chosen right now it, the default is bold. I could unbold it, and you can see it change. Let's put it back to bold. I could uh, pull it, make it italic, and you can see there's the italic. I can change the size by plus or minus increments right here. I can change the color right here by I can choose a color I want. I can change the RGB color of it or I could put a hexadecimal number in here to actually create the color I want. So the text shadow, if you don't want a shadow you can take it out and you'll see that it is changed. I like the shadow in there and that the little black you can change the distance of that shadow from the text itself so you can hit this and here it's going to be three and you can see that it has increased I'm not sure if you'll show that well on the on your video but it does change the output type you want an image or a CCS background stay with the image and the image format you can have any of these so you can change the image format to a, a PNG a GIF a JPEG or an ICO alright let's just go over on the other side here right now you can see this is the size that this button is going to be over here there are three styles. Let's just show you the different. Here's the rectangular box, and you'll see it change to a rectangle. Let's move to the rounded box, which you already saw. And then let's go down to the round, round box, which is going to show you this as being round like that. Okay, let's go back here to the rounded box. And here you can change the corner radius by the plus or minus, so you can increase this a ways and make it more rounded. Let's just go back to the five. I like the look of that. All right, the background you have choices the unicolor, a two color, a gradient, and a pyramid. I like the gradient view. Here's the colors that it's choosing, and you can see that I could swap it right here so that the light color is now at the bottom instead of at the top. Let's just go back here. Here here we have the light going to the dark. I can click here on the colors and again I can choose a color just by going across this color palette. Changing right in here I can change the RGB values which is red, green, blue. I can put those in or I could put the hexadecimal. Okay. I could do the bubble effect which gives you a little bit of a of a bubble or the the background is kind of moving out towards you. I don't really don't want to do that. I can go to a border I can click here on border and you can see the border is going to ask me what color I want it to be so I could change this to a, a um, different color let's just go over here right there and you can see that that has changed like that I'm going to take this border off I could put a shadow in so I can click there 
and then I have the choices of what I want that shadow to look like and the direction that the shadow is going. So right now it's going in this direction here. Okay, let's take out the shadow and then the size, I can choose two different sizes. I can choose the variable, which means it's going to fit the text that you put on that the in itself, or you could go to a fixed number, which when I go to the fixed number, it's going to say, uh, give me an a actual value. As you can see, this is 50, uh, 200 by 50, so it doesn't show everything. So let me just increase this and as I increase it you see it's getting bigger the variable I would use the variable because that looks good unless you have a real short word on the the button because otherwise th when you do that the button becomes very small so you don't want to necessarily do that here's the padding for the text so you can change the padding by changing the horizontal and vertical what you're doing is you're actually increasing the button size from the text that you've got on there now when you're all finished and you like what it looks like go over here to this download click that and it will provide you that information you can see here it is here is the button itself and it says that it's a 5.65 kilobytes file that we're going to be downloading and so I can save it by clicking on save or I could open it up I'm just going to cancel that for the time being and so it's that easy to actually be making a down a button that you can use because when you download this that will come out as an image that you can then put on your website and use. The website of this again is da da button b u t t o n factory f a c t o r y dot com all this and you get it for free. Oh and before I, I forget let's go over to the examples because if you're having trouble figuring out what to make your button look like let's go to the examples and here you can scroll through different examples of what you could do with this this free software that's uh, online thanks for watching this video and you can get other videos like this from bchambers.com